So, bright ideas? No, you're absolutely right. We do not have room for another public affairs segment, which means one of us has to tell the mayor to check out public access. Are you ill? Stressed. You look sick. <sighs> stress makes me sick. No, stress makes you happy. Have you eaten anything? Oh, look, flattery will make me feel better. How'd you feel about the Erica piece? Forget it. I'm not going to get into it. As far as I'm concerned, there's more important things in the world than high-concept baby snatching. All right, fine. Your disgust is duly noted. What about the piece itself? It looked professional. Well, I have a dynamite closure. It's truly original. Ha! Ah! Public news? I mean, on local news, forget it. It's a contradiction in terms. Well, okay, are you just going to watch this? You're going to spare me your moralizing. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, fun time's over. Maybe we should uh, call a doctor? We're overreacting. Oh, maybe you should uh, take it easy, call I'm it a day. I'm fine. Fine. Can we run down the machines, get you some, some no, you bagel? You know, you with the food. Would you stop with the food? Are you still nauseous? You know, I'm always nauseous. I have Erica Kane, who's parked her throne in my living room. My mother lingers like acid rain. Adam, my husband, is married to a cell phone. You know, I just might as well go to the hospital because I certainly don't want to go home. So, what'd you think? You know what I think. Oh, come on. I mean, I know the lighting's not so good, but... The lighting? You're kidding. Who are you, Steven Spielberg? I'm gonna change the ending. The emotion can't be reproduced. Who cares? That's not going on the air. Who says? Liza, come on, admit it. At least you gotta change the ending. The ending is the piece. You are amazing. You know that? You're the only human being in the entire industry that would sensationalize the sensational. It's the only angle of this kind on Erica's arrest. I'm not gonna be beaten by the competition. Do you know what's gonna happen to you if you put that on the air? I don't care if I take a little flack. Can you sidestep an avalanche? The piece airs out the it. Way. Better hide the evidence. Uh, I'd, um, if you'll excuse us, I'd like to speak to my wife. Hello. I need a fan in here. Who are you kidding? The air conditioner's going full blast. So why don't you start pitching in? You know, Liza, if you're pregnant, maybe you should scale back. What? Are you pregnant? Oh, if I'm pregnant, I I am the 11 o'clock news. It's not so far-fetched. You got all the classic symptoms. But what? What? A million different things? I thought sensationalizing was my department. I, I don't want to start setting up flares, but uh, what happens if it's a recurrence of that well, you know, what you got treated for last summer. Abnormal cells, they removed that. Can it come back? Don't do this. Don't, don't make me do this. I ate myself alive, like stressing over that thing that was, what, the size of a sunflower seed? When this is, what, I'm going to take a whole day over maybe indigestion? Okay, 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 I'm sorry, all right? It's just that, you know, you're, you're, you're one of my best friends. You know? Don't look at me like I just clubbed you. We go back a long way. Fact is, we've been here before, you know? Same symptoms, same fears. You're just trying to make me not think about the Erica thing. You, this, this Erica story is not You're over, not by a long shot. You're changing the subject here. I know for a fact you consider being a mother. Oh, <laughs> please. Liza Colby and Adam Chandler, finally. Pine Valley has its first nuclear weapon. My point is that you shouldn't have to go through this alone. I have a husband. My marriage is a train wreck. Why is this happening? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Come here, come here. Just, just relax. Okay, take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. I'll go with you to the doctor's. If it's necessary, I probably have the flu. Where do you think you're going? Uh, home. Maybe by the time I get there, I can stomach Erica and Adam.
Are you naked? Yeah. We've got trouble. What's wrong? You know the baby snatching piece, the one I warned you about putting on the air? Yeah. Travis Montgomery wants to sue the station. Legal approved every piece of footage down to the last frame. I, yeah. But there's no love loss between Travis and his ex, Ted. Well, apparently, Travis's lawyer says we can be held liable for involving Bianca. Did you have her or Travis sign anything like a release? Can we, can we do this in the morning? What, you've got more pressing business? I, I have to know. I'm really scared. I mean, what if this is true? Sitting in Adam Chandler's bedroom, holding a pregnancy test like it was a time bomb. When my husband and his ex-wife are downstairs having a high old time. Oh, Liza, come on. You don't honestly think that Adam is interested in Erica, do you? Well, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that anything's possible. I wish someone would give me three wishes. They could just take away the first two, but just put my life back the way it was. The way it was? Liza Colby, all attitude and attache. My life is my job, Liza Colby. At least I was the star of my own life. Gets kind of lonely at the top, doesn't it? Lonely is what I do best. This is deja vu all over again, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it is. You know, pal, there is one surefire way to end all this agony. Dad, I... Uh, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Guess what? I'm pregnant. assortment. I seldom mix champagne with warm milk. That's mine. Well, darling, are you not feeling well? Never better. Well, this is your favorite vintage. Well, it won't be, at least for the next nine months. You are... Are we... Are we... Yes, Dad. 
Sorry to disappoint. No, what are you, what are you doing here? Well, I tracked you down. Followed me? In a word, yes. By process of elimination. Now, if you wouldn't mind my less than sparkling company, I'd like to stick around for a while. You're a good friend, Dad Martin. Yeah. Don't let it get around. basic food groups, which include chips, chocolate, cookies, and caffeine. Mm. And with a special nod to your condition, milk. I mm. take it your refrigerator still works? Kitchen's up and running. Excellent. Now, what's your pleasure? Cookies. Thank you. You know, that is a fringe benefit to your condition. It's a veritable license to eat. Thank you. I don't eat enough. <laughs> sure. Kid. Yeah, thanks. How's life treating you? It's not boring. What's the state of the union? Me and Adam? Ma and Pa Chandler. And there's a thought. Well, um, we called a truce, no bloodshed, but weapons are ready. Yeah, a lot of verbal barb, sarcasm. Keeps me on my toes. Do you love him? Does anyone? I'll take non answers for 20, Bill. It doesn't matter, Dad. Adam doesn't love me. He doesn't love anybody unless he's uh, divorced from them. I don't know about that. You made love. Oh, made love, had sex. Didn't you lecture me about this sometime We're not talking ago? about me. We're talking about you. How about you? I mean, you did conceive his child. Meaning? Meaning you obviously weren't too concerned about raising the stakes. And dare I say it, committing oh, to Adam? Dad, maybe it just... Happened. Oh, whoa, whoa. thank you for playing. <laughs> we know where you're concerned. Nothing just happens. So, do you love him? I mean, there's got to be something keeping you in that velvet cage. I just, I see a glimpses every now and then, you know? I can just turn around and there's this moment when this real person is there, and he's showing you kindness and compassion. And he touches me, and I feel connected, like I am the center of his world. And for those few moments, it's good. And I look at him and I think, oh, he's so strong, and so handsome. And then the clock strikes 12, the ball's over, he turns into Adam Chandler, and it's not good. When are you going to tell him about the baby? See how he feels. I know how he feels. He wants me gone. What do you want? World peace. I'm waiting for a straight answer, okay? You want me to figure out my life in five minutes. You're very unfair. No, no, no. I'll give you ten. God. I have bought a, a television station. I work 70 hours a week. I'm, I'm stuck in this, this rotten marriage. I'll probably be divorced before I even go into labor. You know, where is the good part? Mm. 
You know, I really appreciate you coming. I really do. You are great. But I'm fine. Oh, no, you don't. I'm sorry, but you just can't get rid of me that easily. Yeah, well, you know what? It's late. No, it's not. And if you're tired, I understand. I mean, you can go in there and crash. It's fine with me. I'll stay right here. Otherwise, we could, uh, we could stay up. We could talk. We could work. We could, uh... Tell stories, play cards, I don't care. We can do anything you want. Point is, if it's all the same to you, I'd like to stay here for the night. Okay. 